Hi and a welcome to Atlas Pits. This is the first series to begin our journey to uncover various aspects of the nations across the globe. Today we kick off the first series of Atlas Pits with the country Afghanistan. on the biggest U.S. military base in Afghanistan. A powerful suicide bomb going off near a gate. At so in the recent years, the media has put forward many such events related to Taliban, terrorism, and the U.S. troops, and have sketched our minds and the way we all relate when it comes to Afghanistan. But if we ignore these aspects for a minute, I'm sure many of you would be wondering what else this country has got and what else the history tells us about this war-torn country. So let's deep dive a bit and find out the less told history of Afghanistan. The historical beginning of Afghanistan started in 6th century BCE when the Archimedean ruler Cyrus II established his control and authority over the area. This was later taken over by Alexander the Great around in 327 BE. And since invasions by dynasties including Seleucids, Mauryans, to the revolts by the Yuzi tribes who united under the banner of Kushans and numerous local Islamic dynasties, to the three British Afghan war to hold this land. This country that is now known as Afghanistan has a very long history of domination by foreign conquerors and strife among internally warring factions. You will find many books, articles and what not about these rulers, their empires and their wars. But no one has put much stress on the fundamental question that what brought this land to be named as Afghanistan. After a number of years under different rulers, in 1504, the region fell under a new empire, the Mughals of the northern India. But it wasn't an easy task for them too, and for the next two centuries, they had to contest the Afghan territory with the Iranian Safavi dynasty. But with the death of the great Safavi leader Nadir Shah in 1747, the indigenous Pashtuns, who became to be known as Durrani, began a period of their rule in Afghanistan that lasted until 1978. The first Durrani ruler, Ahmad Shah, known as the founder of Afghan nation, united these Pashtun tribes and by 1760 built an empire extending to Delhi and Arabian Sea. However, these subsequent rulers had the same way of ruling and had repeated clash with the Britishers over the control of the Indian region. Conflict of interest between Britishers and Afghans led to the first Anglo-Afghan War during the period 1839-1842, where the Britishers conquered Kandhar and crowned Shah Shoja as the king. The Afghans, however, would tolerate neither a foreign occupation nor a king imposed on them by a foreign power, and insurrections broke out. The outbreaks continued throughout the country and the Britishers eventually found their position untenable, which led to the Second Anglo-Afghan War during the period 1878-1880, which ended up with the Treaty of Kandamak. And this was the first time this landlocked country in Central Asia was officially named Afghanistan. This was the beginning of the era of the modern Afghanistan, eventually defining the boundaries of this country in the Central Asian region. Today we know Afghanistan by many different aspects, but this event is lost somewhere in the history. With this, I end the video and I hope you liked it. 
put on other less known historical facts about Afghanistan in the comment section below and feel free to subscribe to Atlas Pits if you wish to see more content like this. See you in the next chapter on Afghanistan. Till then, have a good one. Cheers guys.